Rhyme Bill is now online. Hey guys and girls, so I'm going to show you how to send emails using Node Mailer, Google APIs, all wrapped in Node.js. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new folder, Node Mailer, in my documents. In this folder, I'm going to go ahead and initialize npm. I always like to hit enter for everything except our entry point where I'm going to change it to server.js. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off this install. Once done, let's go ahead and open up with our IDE. For me, I'm using Sublime Text, but you can use Notepad++, whatever you want. Nice. And in our folder, we can see we have package.json, which has a bunch of information we just put in. Now let's go ahead and create our server.js file. Sweet. So in our server.js, let's go ahead and import two packages. The first is going to be our node mailer and the second is going to be from our Google APIs. Once we're done with that, we can go ahead and create a variable auth2, which is just OAuth for Google. And we're going to set this equal to google.auth.oauth2. Now go back to your terminal and type in npm install node mailer space Google APIs. That's going to install the two packages we need for this. Awesome. And that's it for our code for now. Now we're going to switch up to Google and head off to Google Cloud. And Google Cloud is going to allow us to set up our credentials for our client secret, client ID, our refresh token, and our access token, which we're going to use to send our email. Let's create a new project. For our project name, I'm going to call mine Node Mailer, just to keep it short and simple. And we're going to hit create. Once you do that, in the top right, you should see some sort of notification of it loading. Select project. Now on your left panel, go to your APIs and services, and now we're going to select credentials. Now let's go ahead and create our credentials. But here it's going to force us to create a consent screen first, so let's do that. For our test users, we're going to add this later on. So let's go ahead and skip it. Awesome. So we're done. Let's scroll down and head off to the dashboard. Now on the left, we can hit credentials and now we can create credentials for our OAuth client ID. Select the web application. If you like, you can change the name. And most importantly, we're going to add an authorized redirect URL. You can find this in the description below. And this is going to allow us to connect to our Gmail service. This should spit out our client ID and our client secret. Back in our script, I'm actually going to create a new file and I'm going to call it config.js. We're going to type in module.exports is going to equal to an object. And here we're going to export the object which contains our client ID and our client secret. So that way we can import this config.js file into any route we have our server.js or whatever you have going on. And just in case, if you clicked off too fast, you could actually click your web client one and your client ID and secret should be in the top right. And since we're on here, let's go ahead and copy and visit that website. Awesome. So on this website, we're going to go ahead and hit the settings icon. And down below, you're going to see a checks box for use your own OAuth credentials. Hit that. Now we're going to enter our client ID and client secret we just got from the page before. Sweet. So on the left, we're going to authorize our mailing API. So just copy the URL I'm typing out. Go ahead and hit authorize API. Select the account you want to use. And now we're going to hit up on an error page. Go to your OAuth consent screen. And then we're going to add a test user. So just enter the same Gmail address here, which sort of sucks, but head back. Now select the user again and sweet it should work now all you got to do is to select all the affirmative answers so we can actually get this working 
Awesome. So now you should see a big blue button. Go ahead and hit that. And now in the bottom right, we're going to see a response. And the only thing we need from this response is our refresh token. So go ahead and copy your refresh token and slap it onto our config.js. Great. So once that's done, let's go back to our server.js and now we can import our config.js file. Back on Google Clouds, let's finally publish our app and we can exit this page. Back in our code, we just need to set up our OAuth client. So we're gonna set our OAuth client is equal to new OAuth2 and then we're gonna pass in our ID and secret. And since we have this in our config, just go ahead and paste it in there. Now we have to set the credentials for our OAuth client. And we're gonna set the refresh token and we're gonna pass in our config.refresh token. And that's it. You might have this set up with an express app with APIs and stuff, but since we're raw dogging it, we're just gonna create a function. And this function is gonna be called send mail. And we're gonna take in two parameters, which is gonna be our name and the recipient who we're sending this mail to. The first thing we have to do in our function is to declare our access token. And this is actually gonna generate one for us. So every time we call this send mail function, we generate a new access token. Next up, we're gonna create a variable transport. And this is gonna be equal to our node mailer dot create transport. And this actually takes in an object which has a few parameters, which one of them is our service, our auth. And this auth is actually gonna be an object and this object's gonna have our type, our user, which we have configured in our config.js, which is just our email address. And then we take in our client ID, our client secret, our client token, and lastly, our access token. If you've used Node Mailer before, this next steps could look familiar to you. So we're gonna call a variable our mail options. It's gonna be equal to an object. And here we get to pass in our from, our to, our subject, text, and HTML. I'm just gonna type in the greatest of all time. And then in angled brackets, we have to pass in an email address. And then we send this to our recipient, which we're passing in from the function. And then our subject is just gonna be a message from the greatest of all time which is a pretty cool subject line. And now we have the option passing in our HTML message or a text message. So a text message is just gonna be plain text, but that's kind of lame. So we're gonna actually set up a HTML message and we're gonna pass in the function get HTML message. And this is gonna later take in our name so we can customize this message. Sweet. And lastly, we're gonna say it transport.sendmail. This is gonna take in our mail options and also take in a callback function which passes in our error and our result. And here we're just gonna log out our error if we get any, and we're gonna log out our success. End it off with transport.close. Now let's go ahead and create our function get HTML message. And remember this takes in our name parameter and what this is gonna do is gonna return bolded Heather, which just says their name we pass in. You're awesome. And it'll look like a personalized message. Great, so let's go ahead and test this out. So we're gonna look up a temporary email address. And here we're gonna paste that email address into our function call. And now what we're gonna do is to type in a name. We're gonna call him Joe. Yo mama! <laughs> Here we're gonna type in node server.js because that's our JS file we wanna run and we get an error. So let's go back to our server.js file and change it from small m to capital M and that should solve this problem. So if we go back to our CMD and we go ahead and run this command again, we should now see a success output, which is awesome. So now when we go back to our temporary mail website, we now see we have an email from the greatest of all time. So now when we click this, we now see it says, Joe Mama, you're awesome. 
<laughs> and this is pretty cool. So we're able to connect our Google email address or Gmail account and have it send email to this random mailing address, which is sweet. And you can try this out with any email address you want and it should work. And that's it guys. That's how to set up Node Mailer, Google APIs, it all in Node.js and send emails to people, which is pretty awesome. And until next time, rhyme below. <laughs> Joe Mama. <laughs>